Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel, and today I have a very special video planned. Right here we have the iPod Touch 5th generation, 16 gigabyte, and I'm going to be unboxing it today. Um, this is the third time I've unboxed it, because the first time I was just so excited. And the second time I did an unboxing with my friend, and you can check that video out right here. It'll also be in the description box. But this is our formal unboxing, and um, we're going to take a look around, and then I'll have a review out later. So stay tuned. So here's the box that it shipped in, nothing too exciting. So let's go ahead and open it up. And inside, there's the iPod Touch. So you just remove it, and then you can undo this little case thing. Open that up, and uh, there is your iPod Touch 16 gigabyte. So to open it, you have a little um, tap to pull here, it's orange, and you just peel that off. And then uh, the box will open up like a clamshell, and now you're ready to remove your iPod Touch. So there's a little tab here, and you pull that to release the iPod Touch. And then, yeah, it's probably easier to take it out of the tray first. And then you can kind of flex the tray a little bit to pop it out. And there is your iPod Touch, 16 gigabyte. Now I'm going to set that aside and we're going to just take a look at what's, what else is included. So you have Designed by Apple in California. And then right in here, you have some information regarding this iPod Touch. So it tells you about some of the buttons. You have the volume, sleep wake, home button, and lightning connector. And then on the back, it just tells you more stuff, and there's some links. Right here, you have your iPod Touch info regarding this specific iPod Touch, and some safety warnings, um, and lots of other stuff there. And then, also, you get two large Apple stickers. And then, behind all that, you get your accessories. So right here, you have a lightning to USB cable, neatly wrapped up, and there's the lightning connector. I'll undo that later, and then you also get a set of ear pods without the remote mic. I would think they'd at least include the microphone in with the iPods, since those are more for music, and not do it with the iPhone. Like, why wouldn't you want the higher-end headphones with your music playing device? I don't know. Okay, that's there's that. Um, also, I forgot to take a look at the box, um, not that it's going to be exciting, but you have iPod Touch, and this will match the color, so if you got the 32 or 64 gigabyte version, then it will match the color, so this was just black, and that's black, Apple logo, iPod Touch, and then on the back, you can see your capacity, so this is the 16 gigabyte model, and then more information, but with all the boring stuff set aside, Let's take a look at the iPod Touch. So, um, there. this differs from its the, the 32 and 64 gigabyte version in several ways. So, on the back, um, well, I did get an engraving here. So it just says, Trevor's iPod, do not touch. And then, you have your Apple logo, which is one of the differences. So, this is kind of just printed on in black, where if you got the 32 or 64 gigabyte version, then it would be polished into the material. Down here you have some legal information and um, other stuff. Up here you have a plastic window for radio transparency which allows things like Bluetooth and Wi-Fi to work through the aluminum body, which by the way is very nice and high quality. Um, and also you can see that the wrist strap or the iPod touch loop was removed and the camera was also removed, so that's one of the big features. So, um, if you want the camera, you have to get the 32 or 64 gigabyte model. That also means that the microphone was removed, well, it's actually repositioned up there, and the flash, but um, since there is no camera, the iPod touch loop doesn't become as useful of a feature since it's more meant for it being around your wrist when you're using it as a point-and-shoot camera. But this still does have the front-facing fa FaceTime HD camera. On the top, you can see the repositioned microphone and power button right there. 
and that's yet another difference. Um, this is just a black power button, it's plastic, or if you got the 32 or 64 gigabyte model, it would be metal um, matched to the color of the iPod, and also the same with the volume buttons. So we have up and down. Then on the bottom, right here, you have your headphone jack, your lightning connector, and your five row speaker grills. And uh, these inserts are color matched to your iPod Touch's front color. So since this is black on the front, you get black inserts in there. And then also, if you look really closely, if it focuses. Okay, I guess it's not. Okay, so you can see kind of in there that um, the, sp the grill inside there is also black to match the iPod. But if you got um, the 32 or 64 gigabyte version, then you might have gotten a color besides black. Then the screen would be white and these inserts would also be white. But this color combination is unique to the 16 gigabyte model. So you get a silver back with a black front Whereas if you got a silver 32 or 64 gigabyte version, there would be a white front. Only the black one has a black front to match. So this color combination is unique. And also you'll notice that since it's silver on the back, um, it wraps around to the front and creates kind of an outline around the screen and it looks pretty sharp, so I kind of like that. So, um, to go over it again, the five things that were removed to cut the costs down. Um, you have the cheaper buttons, I guess, um, not really, I kind of like the plastic buttons actually. So the plastic buttons, the removal of the camera, and all its other things, the iPod touch loop, the color options, and, um, there is really only four things, I guess, sorry, um, and I guess the microphone repositioned was one of the things, maybe, I don't know. Oh yeah, the fifth thing is the price change. So it went from $299 from the 32 gigabyte model to $229. So if they would have kept all the features like the camera, the loop, and all those things, then it would probably be $249. But since they removed those, it's now $20 cheaper than that at $229. So $70 cheaper. But if you really think a camera is important, definitely go for the 32 or 64 gigabyte model even though it's more expensive. But now I'm going to power this on. So you have your on button, and I have already turned this on once, so it's not gonna take as long to turn on, but basically you're just gonna see like the Apple logo for a few seconds on the screen first. But after you've done that, you'll come to this screen, and it says hello in multiple different languages. And so you just slide to the left to begin setup, and then you can choose your language, so you have lots of different options here. Um, but I'm just going to go with English. And then you select your region or country, so... Um, if you got this in America, then it's... Then the United States is going to be on the top as default. And then you choose your Wi-Fi network, which I'm not going to do right now, because uh, I don't know the password, it's very long. But you basically finish setting it up, and once I get the password typed in, I will come back to this review and will complete setting it up. And I will do my full review on the iPod Touch 16GB. So thank you for watching this video, I hope you liked it, and that is the iPod Touch 16GB right there, if I haven't already said that a hundred times. Um, I'm really excited to have this, and um, I upgraded to this from a Nano. So this is definitely a big upgrade, even if it doesn't have the camera or anything. It still does have the front-facing camera, right there if you can see it. And that's 1.2 megapixels with 720p video. So I'm just going to quickly unbox these iPod Touch accessories. So um, right here we have the ear pods, and these do not come with the remote mic like I said before. I, ha um, I explained all that. Anyway, to open it, you just pop this tab and then it falls out and then you pull these up from the front and this is non-reusable packaging it doesn't include the full plastic case you have to get the earpods of the remote and mic with your iPhone or sold separately to get that but these are different than the ones with the, with the mic
in two ways. The first, obviously, is that there's no microphone on here. And the second difference is this little slider right here. So, um, it covers both sides of the wire. But if I bring in the earpods with the remote and mic, there's the microphone. And right here you can see that this slider is open on one end. So you can pop this string out if you don't want to use the microphone. But with this, to get these untangled, with this you don't have to worry about this um, slipping out of your ear. So I guess that's kind of nice. But those are the ear pods that come with iPod. And now we're going to undo this, this lightning connector, so nothing too special here. But you just pop out the lightning cable and the USB. We just pull this tab here, doesn't matter which side. And then this will come out. And then you undo the other side here. It's like the first one. Like that. And then this pops out. And there's your lightning to USB cable. So again, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And I will come back in a little bit once I have the Wi-Fi set up. And my full review will be a separate video. So look out for that. It probably won't be for two days. But still, thanks again. And have a great day.